Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. I am Caesar, and for today's video, we will be doing something new. I have this is my first tutorial ever, and I'm super excited on how this uh, medium low fade came out. And I hope you guys enjoy it, and I can't wait to hear you guys' feedback and for you guys to see the end product. So let's get this video started. And um, for this video, we start. We're starting off with the zero closed, no guard. So we got to make it nice and clean. Get all the hair out of the way. Always brushing down. This uh, this elegance brush right here is freaking amazing, guys. If you guys have not tried it yet, it feels great. It feels great on the client, your hand. It's just really nice. It's really soft. So right here, I have the one guard open, and I'm pretty much just clearing up the bulk pretty much so I can see my work a lot more neater and just so it's a lot easier for me in the end. You will see me going through it a lot, a one open a lot because i rather be safe than sorry. So I keep it nice and, you know, clean and I can always go up higher with the one and a half. Right here, I'm going with my trimmer. This is pretty much my te techniques for every fade that I do. Once I have the zero, once I balled with my zero, I go, I follow it up with my trimmer so I can, so it could be a lot easier on whichever shaver that I use to bald. I am using my Andis Slimlines, modified Slimline Pro LIs with a T outliner blade on it. So here I am going with my Babyliss Pro Gold Shavers. A lot of you guys have not used them. And if you have used them, what do you guys think about them? I think they're pretty awesome. I like them so much better than my Andis uh, Profile Shavers and my Wall Shavers as well. I feel like it beats both of them. I feel like it has way more power. It has that little nice weight on it as well, where it doesn't feel cheap. Because you know them Andis and them Walls, I feel like they break pretty quick pretty often they break quickly so I, I shaved um i pretty much balded with my shavers and i follow it up just a little bit above that with my trimmers as well and that should do the trick right there to pretty much to blend so yeah guys right there i balled them balded them out and i go back with my trimmer just to blend it the skin to um the zero Sometimes with certain types of hair and, and certain type of clients, you might need to flip your trimmer over as well to finish blending it in. And here you see me once again with the one open and I'm going a little bit higher because I'm going to need a lot of space for my, for my zero open to make that other guideline. Throughout this video, you will see me going a little bit higher and a little bit higher because simply for the fact that I'd rather be safe than sorry and yeah so right here i have my zero open and i'm making my pretty much my another guideline right here i like to have everything I, I like to use the corners a lot because i feel like it helps so much better when it comes to clean guidelines when it comes to blending and anything like that always use your corners guys because i feel like that's just the best to use if you use it flat flat on and not use the corners you might just take off more than what you really need and it's easier to blend out a little tiny part than the whole like a whole uh blade size of a thing you know and i always i like to go over it a few times you know because sometimes in the first two tries it doesn't get you know all the hair that's there so i like to go a few times and like i said <laughs> i'm going over it again with my one open because I want to go a little bit higher because now I see that the transition is going to need a little bit of more space because if I don't go higher with the one it's just going to look bulky and the fade's not really going to be there so I go over it again it helps also clean clean it up as well and right here I pretty much close my one one guard so now it's a one closed and I hit that middle line the, the line right between the one open and the zero 
open. So I'm just, I'm not trying to take it out. So on certain hairs, it does can take it out, but most of the time it doesn't really take it out. Right there, I'm just trying to soften it up so I can slap on my half guard like I, I'm doing so right now. And I always like to start off open right there to completely erase that line out. You don't want to go too high because if you go up too high, you might bring up your fade a little too high and we're, we're going for like a medium low fade. So that's not going to be ideal. So you just want to work that line in the middle and trigger plane is the best thing. I always go from my open to halfway to closed. And all it is is just trigger playing, guys. Don't go past that. Just trigger play right there on that line and eventually it will come out you have to use a lot of corners as well a lot of brushing as well like my client right here he has pretty curlyish hair so with curly hair some uh, most of the time you need to uh, always keep brushing it a lot of the times you guys will see me go over it again and again and again because fades man it's it's a lot of work you know it's a lot of work you have to go over it a few times sometimes Right here I have my zero. I like to save the zero. I, li I like to leave the bottom for last because I feel like I blend better like that. I used to uh, up fade and f start from the bottom and then just fade my way up. But nah, I, didn't, I don't really like it at all. This way is better. I start from the bottom. I feel like it all, it, it's all a lot more even. And it just helps me uh, not go higher as well because I know where to pretty much stop, you know? Over here I started off closed right above where we left off on the trimmer and I slightly open it up as I go high, uh, as I go a lot higher and as you guys can see the lines are already pretty much gone so all what's needed is pretty much a little bit of detail work right here I'm about I believe halfway open a little bit more open than halfway And right here is where we go fully open and now we're right we're hitting where we left off on that uh half guard closed and we're just you know brushing it up using corners always because you, like i said you guys you guys do not want to use a full clipper and as you can see as well there's little dark spots that fully won't take it open so you slightly close it and bam it comes out just like that guys see a lot of this is you just messing around with uh not gonna lie the half guard and the no guard open is literally everything right there. Just mess around with that. Open it, close it halfway, and just mess around with it. Don't be afraid and just keep digging in there, you know? Always using your corners, never the full the full blade, guys. Because you guys will take off too much. This is one of the things I was kind of afraid of to do when I was starting off at uh, my first shop and all that. I didn't know how to do any of this. I wish I did, I did you know? So I'm pretty grateful to be at where I'm at now. I know I'm nowhere where I want to be at, but I know I'll, I'll get there eventually. So for this clip over comb, I'm using this gold comb that I just got. It's freaking awesome. And sometimes I like to wet the hair depending on how I'm feeling on the cut. If I feel like it needs to be wet, I'd cut it. It's like I'm pre-styling it before, you know? And I have some Ruzel hair tonic on it as well. So it likes, it's kind of like pre-styling the hair. So it's already slicked back. So you get to see pretty much how it's gonna lay. So I'm just literally shaping the cut right now with the clipper over comb. With clipper over comb, sometimes if you guys are afraid to use clipper over comb, I remember I, I'm still not the best at clipper over comb to be honest guys, but you could slap on a half guard or a one guard so it won't take off too much on clipper over comb and just practice that guys until you're safe, uh, until you're pretty much confident and uh, using no guard on it with clipper over comb. Right now I'm using the one and a half open to pretty much go right under where I clipper over comb to clean it up and make it look a lot softer, you know? A lot more blended, connect, connecting the clipper over comb to it. And I'm pretty much just down fitting right there as well with the one and a half. As you guys can see, it's already coming up together. It's all coming in together. So right there, I'll probably just uh, detail a little bit more. This is what it is with fades, guys. It's not that hard to get a fade going, 
but what separates a lot of haircuts is detail work. So you have to go in there and mess around like, and I also I want to apologize because this is my first video. My hand does get, my camera loses auto, like the autofocus and because of my hand in the way and stuff. So bear with me guys. Um, this is my first video and we're only going to get better from here. And I can't wait, you know? So like, as you guys can see, I'm just, just a lot of detailing work with your corners. And I also decided to bust out my Babulous Pro FX clippers right here. I if you guys have not tried these clippers, they are freaking awesome. I slapped on the half wall guard, a wall guard. The wall guards fit on these clippers. And this thing has notches where you could just, it's so much easier for fading. You can hear the haircut easily. They're just great clippers, guys. If you guys haven't tried them, I really do recommend. So especially for those of you who aren't that uh, pretty much good at fading yet that'll help a lot so as you guys can see this is i edged them up right there but it's not you know it's not final that's just kind of a rough draft so i pretty much did the one side guys and i'm gonna let you guys pretty much uh just look at the video and not hear my voice anymore because i know it's annoying sometimes i get annoyed of it sometimes so we're gonna do the same thing on the other side and we're just pretty much gonna um we're gonna use the bag in this more so I hope you guys enjoy this side and it's the same steps that we did on the last one. So just enjoy the music. If you guys have any questions or anything, save it for the comments guys and enjoy the rest of the video. notice a difference from do you guys actually notice a difference between the both clippers right here on um, this side on my dude's left side i'm using a lot more of the babulous and sometimes i feel like it's a little bit more of a softer blend with them i'm not sure a lot of people do say they cut kind of like the fast feeds and i'm not sure you know i kind of see it you know it's a like i said these notches help out so much and for those of you who are struggling with fades a lot of fades still i highly recommend these clippers I personally use them for the half guard and up because these can't these um these clippers right here fully zero gap can't even can't still can't take out the bottom line so that's why I use my wall seniors a lot or my magic clips but for now I'm just using my seniors and that's what I use from the zero close all the way to pretty much open to take out that bottom line since the babyliss can't And as you guys can see, it's pretty much the same steps, guys. You have to be careful with most of the stuff. You just, you know, don't be afraid to go higher, you know? Most of the time you, when your fades aren't where they want to, where you want to be at, it's because you're afraid to go higher. And sometimes that's what you need for your fade to come out good. I'm not afraid to go higher anymore. And most of the time when I'm like, dang, I need to get better. I try it, you know, I go for it, I go higher. Uh, I go back and I try to detail. Some, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I, I don't know if it's working or not. But once you get towards the end, you'll see it come together. Always trust the process, guys. It's a process for a reason. And right here, it's just pretty much the same thing, guys. I really do enjoy these Babulous ones. It's freak, They're freaking no joke, dude. They're probably my favorite clippers at the moment, along with my seniors. And you see right here on what I told you guys earlier, I pretty much have the half guard on and I'm not afraid to get in there, you know, because, you know, like no, gu no guard on it, clipper over comb. You're like, dang, I might punch a hole or something, but no, right here, it's pretty much just like removing the bulk, but not completely, you know, so that helps out a lot tremendously. I, I just, just try it guys. I also, um, I'm also detailing right here with my Babyliss as well. The thing I like about these is, like I said earlier, detailing 
is amazing with them. You can literally hear every hair get cut. And that is super crucial, especially when you're a beginner barber, man. Imagine it's like you need to you need to hear that hair get cut, you know? That'll help you know, oh, okay, do I need to go higher? Do I need to go uh, lower? Stuff like that, you know? And so pretty much here it is, guys. It's That's the left side already. And it's pretty simple. I hope um, you guys following these steps, it helps out a lot or you learn something. That is the goal. And like, I just want to make it clear to you guys. Like, I know I'm not the best, but... I've come such a long way and I just want to help those who are still struggling, those beginner barbers, you know, because I know a lot of dudes that cut well don't really need all this, but they just want to see how I cut. And so this is how I cut, guys. And uh, you guys can look at my past pictures on Instagram to see how far I've come and how I'm pretty much going to keep, you know, keep getting better. And I hope I inspire a lot of you guys to keep pushing because this is definitely a, a grinding game where you need to actually put 100% effort in or you're not going to get anything out of it. So right here, like I told you guys, I it's um I just I love the way my hair this haircut came out and I'm so glad that I ended up recording this video because now I got a video for you guys, my first tutorial and I feel like it came out pretty fresh. I didn't end up, my camera kept overheating so far. I didn't really end up uh, showing you guys pretty much the lineup part, the razor work part, the sheer work on top, but we can work on that towards uh, towards another video, guys. I just wanted to get this video out and pretty much show you guys how I cut and hopefully help a bunch of you guys out. A lot of these items that I am using, you guys can also find at my store online through www.supremebarbersupply.com and you guys can see this is a finished product i am super happy with the result i hope you guys enjoyed this haircut and bam i just thought it was super dope i hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know what you guys think in the comment section if you guys want to see more let me know as well if you guys have any questions please give me your feedback guys i do i i take constructive criticism very well i can't wait to do more you know this was a really fun one for me and i can't wait to do more tutorials in the future guys let me know in the comment section if you guys enjoyed this video if it helped you out in any sort of way and any tips whatever it is guys you know as a barber you know this barber community we're strong and we're trying to get stronger it's an up and coming thing it's huge right now and it's all love guys honestly i said i don't there's no time for hating guys you know we gotta put that uh positive all this energy into positive things and not negative things so we can all grow together you know we all got we all gotta eat so yeah once again guys thank you guys so much for your time i hope you guys enjoyed this medium low fade and i'll see you guys next time peace trying to put them in the worst mood. P1 cleaner than the church shoes up.